I did get a couple of pictures today of some daffodils poking up out of the ground. Now, they'll go back to sleep here over the next few days as the cold moves back in. But the story has been a very big lack of snowfall so far this season. We had just a tenth of an inch in Boston, and it wasn't just a city thing. No one in southern New England shuffled once during the month of December. It was our least snowy December since 2011. A lot of variability year to year. December can kind of go either way, but this has been an exceptionally quiet one. I looked at all the winters where we had less than two inches of snow through early January. It happens about one out of every five winters on record in Boston. All of them had below average snowfall for the season except for two, which were right at average. Doesn't mean that we're locked into a below average snow season. What it means is it will be unusual if we really make up for lost time later on in the winter. What we do know is that compared to this time last year, it has been a dramatic shift from 59 degrees today so the period that we had last year from Christmas through New Year's, most of the days were in the teens. Most of the nights were sub-zero or near zero. One of our coldest stretches we've ever had around our region. So here's a look at what we have tonight. The colder air is moving back in. Temperatures have been falling ever since the early afternoon. Some 20s now toward the Berkshires, 30s for many, and most of us will wake up in the 20s tomorrow morning. Mainly clear skies, just a few high clouds moving across the area. So tomorrow is a peaceful, chilly winter day. The wind will be much calmer, generally. Uh, light about five miles per hour, mostly sunny and low to mid 30s tomorrow afternoon. Sunset time is at 4:23, and we've gained 12 minutes of daylight already since early December, and that will accelerate. We gain about 50 minutes of total daylight during the month of January. High of 35 in Boston tomorrow, 32 in Worcester, right around 30 in Jaffrey, and mid 30s toward Cape Cod. Then we'll bring in the cloud cover tomorrow night. Weak system is going to move through late tomorrow night into early on Thursday. There's not a lot of moisture to work with here. The bottom line is there could be a few slick spots during the Thursday morning commute before this moves off to the east late morning and will bring in some sunshine. Anything that falls will be melting during the day on Thursday as we top 40 degrees. Looks like a coating to an inch for most of the area. Chance for one to three. Ski areas out toward the greens and heading up farther into central and northern parts of New Hampshire. It's like a little fresh powder there to refill the slopes, coating to rain the Boston area south and east. So again, the totals are not very inspiring, but there could be a few slick spots out there. Then we jump well into the 40s on Friday, a breezy, fairly mild day. And then we'll watch this next developing storm system. It's interesting. Right now I'm showing the European model, which is one of the usually more reliable ones. Every other model takes this just off to our east, just grazing us or completely missing us when it comes to the rainfall. This one has been the wettest. So over the next day or two, we'll be able to lock in whether or not this will bring us any significant rain or just slide off to our east. So both solutions are still on the table. Either way, it doesn't look to produce any snowfall here in southern New England. For any ski country, cold day tomorrow. There's those snow showers on Thursday and then a pleasant day on Friday in the 30s. Looks pretty good out there. And here's your full seven day. Uh, really, no chances for significant snowfall in the forecast. Tuesday, maybe uh, a wintry mix moving in our direction. That would be our next shot. But uh, overall, the quiet times will continue when it comes to the snowblowers and the forecast like this, even the heating bills.